So I just wanted to show you a couple little intersection here. Um, at that trail I've been on it, it actually winds around and there's a neighborhood that they built back in there. Man, you should see them houses. I, there is some money in Lynchburg. I mean, they're, they're all 500,000 plus houses in that neighborhood. And, uh, and then you got this trail going this way. This is what I'm gonna take right now and that's where we just came from. All right. Just a little view of the trail. I just the sunlight was catching that just perfect, and I just wanted you to see it. It's just beautiful back in here today. Man, I wish I could have had this on my trip to Lynchburg, especially up in the Great Smoky Mountains. But uh, say, lovey. So imagine as a young man back in here mountain biking, coming around that turn, hitting that thing, flying up in the air, coming down and just rolling on, just having the time of your life back in. This is what we got here in Lynchburg, which is pretty cool. See, now here's a what I've run into. And boy, I, you know, I know they got the trail club here and there's a lot of people that mountain bike. And you'd think the trail club would be back in here. All you got to do is put a bunch of logs right along there. You can just pick them up wherever. And that would uh, solve that problem. But instead, you know, somebody mountain biking, you know, you're going to get, well, I guess I'm going to get muddy because I got to go through here with my shoes and then I, then I got to clean them at my mom's house. I guess it's a good thing she did not full of spitfire and vinegar. She'd be like, don't bring them shoes in my house. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going. By the way, I have only seen two people on this trail and uh, I'm trying to navigate around this. And um, you know, that's the thing. I mean, even in the cities, you know, I understand Lynchburg's getting pretty crowded. Here, maybe we can go this way. I hope this log doesn't break. Oh, man, it did give way though. Got over it though, thank God, without getting too muddy. But I, uh, you know, you'd think that there'd be all kinds of people back in here hiking because it's so beautiful, especially on a day like today. But no, they stick to the main trails, you know, the little paved trails. Yesterday, I, I, I'll go back and do it and show it to you because there's all kinds of trails, the Blackwater Trail. And, uh, but it's paved and, and boy, it was it crowded. I mean, there's so many people. And here, you know, I'm just a few miles away and I'm on this trail and I've seen two mountain bikers not a single hiker and uh you know yeah it's a little muddy in some places but it's not too bad i just don't i don't get it when you have a treasure like this right in your backyard why not come back here and enjoy it so in case you didn't know what i was talking about they looks like they kind of made an attempt here a poor attempt i must add you know those logs should be extending all the way across to give them more stability instead of just cutting them into little tiny sections now probably volunteers doing this work but you know rather than those lawnmowers cutting all that damn grass and you know, look at me i'm trying to try not to get too nasty here rather than lawnmowers cutting all that grass you know send the park maintenance up in here and they could do you know carry uh carry some lumber or actually some treated wood would work out great and uh they could cut it into sections that were just perfect length you know for cutting across all the way across that path and uh you know hey it's it, it'd be half a day of work for them to, to hike up in here um now maybe they couldn't carry the whole load the first trip but you know you, you do like maybe like dedicate one day uh, or one day every other week for example to maintaining these trails and have the park crew you know one of them especially the young guys you know have them throw on a big backpack full of wood and come up in here and do some maintenance you know uh that'd be a lot better than them riding mowers and wasting gas cutting grass that nobody's ever going to use just uh just a little little thing there but i wanted to show you how that that would work with the with the logs on a path like that so if any crazy mountain bikers ever watch this video i just did this trail this is it man and it's called roller coaster and i wanted to get some up and down and i'm gonna tell you what if you if you're riding a roller coaster that's exactly what it'd be like on that trail i had to get a running start to get up some of them hills and uh i mean i'm running i'm I, I'm probably moving at a snail's pace, but uh, anyway, uh, just to humble me again, uh, this whole family walks by me with little kids, and I'm thinking, man, I'm about to freaking get off of this train wreck here. I'm, <laughs> I'm done, and here they come walking by me. Oh, hi, hi, how you doing? You know, you're big, fat, old man out of shape. Yeah, hi, nice to meet you. So, yeah, but uh, there's another trail heading up that way. So I think I'm going to be getting down to the bike trail, and, uh, and then we'll do the obstacle course. It'll show you a little bit of that. And then I'm out of here for the day. That's enough exercise for me. So you see, they're, they're gonna be biking through what I just came through, you know, those muddy spots. And uh, but when you're on a bike, they come up on you fast. And, you know, sometimes you hit that mud and you go over them handlebars and 
Nah, you're a muddy mess. And this is another little forking trail. So I maybe hike that before we leave Lynchburg. Just about coming out. So we're heading down this way and here's the, the sign. Trailhead two.